the orange trim rings have to come off the front and top, top first. They're continuous and they're glued in place holding the two halves together. I need a flashlight. I think there's a screw in here. That's why. I need a screwdriver. Okay, I'll get one. Small one. Phillips? Yeah. Phillips. That's why it's not coming apart at the bottom. Painted black like the handle, so it was hard to see at first. There's the culprit. That zone where you're putting this stuff is invisible to the camera, FYI. surface mount. That's what the switch presses on. This is the laser and this is mm -hmm. the, the reader. The IR sensor. The, the sensor. What? The IR reads the heat. And that heavy duty cone was to block heat from um, sur the surrounding so it could focus on the IR coming from the target where you point it. There. Well, that's off the protective case. 
this. Oh, cool. The screen. That was a backlight diffuser, that white thing. Almost looks boring now. So the three buttons for the the light Fahrenheit versus Celsius and uh, the the laser or the the this is for the this the reading to turn it on. Yep, and then there was backlight on and off, laser and oh backlight. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now that'll become something else. This is to protect the laser from... This heat shrink tubing? Oh, I, I presume it's to protect it from just going wherever. Mm -hmm. It will, it also insulates it in the housing so that it fits into the tube in the head so it doesn't bobble around. Again, a big gigantic black splotch here. That's a epoxy covering the logic. So the core logic for the unit that does the calculations. Sounds logical. And that is, that is that. It's easier than I thought. Total of six screws. This one though, it's got like a plastic casing around this heavy duty. It feels, weight wise, it feels like metal. But it can't. I think they, I think they glued it into place. Mm -hmm. I don't it's, think it's disassemblable. It's cool, it has sort of like a metallic sensor at the base. Probably a filter. I don't know if you can see that. Well, that's a Fresnel lens. That would be very hard to get the camera to to show, but oh, there there's is. a Fresnel lens in the bottom of this assembly. Oh. Recycle the bits I don't want and keep the bits I do. The infrared thermometer. What model is it? The only thing I see on here is laser grip 774. That's the model, 774. What was your question? Oh, you're good. What the brand was? Etexicity. Etexity. Not bad for under 20 bucks. No. How long did it last? I think it was like five years of like every single day Wow, we used it multiple times a day, actually. Yeah, some of the writing is really tiny. It, the distance to spot size DS equals 12, um, 12 to 1. 12 to 1, yeah. 12 to 1. It's actually kind of cool if you want to get a close-up of that. It shows a graphical um, thing, depiction. That is cool. You can see, um, I don't know if you can see if I put my finger in front of the, the screen. It's an LCD. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the... That's why the, the screen has a, a, the white 
diffuser tray so the blue backlight can evenly light it. Because there's a small LED that... It's kind of adorable. The Fitbit Surge had the same kind of like black and white LCD for its display. We can recycle all the plastic parts. Yeah.